Welcome to the Delaware Mortgage Rate Weekly Mortgage Market Update for the week of August 10, 2015. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage, here to give you an update. Well, last week uh, we saw mortgage rates move to the uh, low they haven't seen since May on Monday, but then quickly moved higher as the bonds sold off. You take a look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see that uh, blue line there, that was a, a ceiling of resistance. We hit that on Monday, sold off. Bounce lower, big sell off on Tuesday, then a gap down lower on Wednesday. Now, Wednesday, we were able to hit a floor of support, rally off of that. You can see Thursday and Friday, we rallied higher after the jobs report. So, um, short term trend is for it to move higher. Hopefully, we get back up and test that ceiling resistance we saw on Monday. So, with that in mind, we're going to recommend floating your Delaware mortgage rate to start the week to see if mortgage bonds can build on this momentum. Now, last week, big news was the jobs report for uh, July 2015 was released. It showed 215,000 jobs created, just slightly below the 229,000 jobs predicted. And they also revised May and June's total higher by about 13,000 jobs. The unemployment rate stayed steady at 5.3%, and the labor force participation rate stayed the same at 62.6%, which is a 38-year low. Remember, the LFPR measures the number of people 16 years or older. They're eligible to work and the economy are actually working. So um, still, a lot of people need to go back to work in this economy to get us back on track. Uh, this jobs report, though, will put the Federal Reserve in a position to raise the short-term interest rates at their next meeting September 17th. If that happens, it actually be good news for mortgage rates because when they raise the short-term interest rates, that doesn't translate into the long-term necessarily going up. And in this case, we're predicting the long-term rates, the mortgage rates will actually move down because uh, the stock market will probably sell off when the Fed's raise the short-term interest rates. Um, the Federal Reserve's also had their favorite measure of inflation come out last week, which is the PCE, or Personal Consumption Expenditure. So the core PCE moved up 0.1%, below expectations of 0.2%, and year-over-year we're only at 1.3% for the core inflation for the PCE. That's well below the Fed's target of 2%. So inflation being tame is another good news for mortgage bonds. Now, in housing news, CoreLogic reported its home price index for June 2015, which showed home prices increasing by 6.5% year over year. Um, that's up from May's 5.6%, and June represented a 40th consecutive month of year over year price increases. Home prices moved up about 1.7% from May to June, and home prices are now only 7.4% below the peak in April of 26, or 2006. So great news there on housing, strong housing market, still a great time to buy, predicting about 45 to 5% appreciation year over year next year, so still a great time to buy. Now USDA Rural Housing uh, is underwriting loans submitted on July 30th as of Friday, August 7th, so still about a 10-day delay there, so if you got a USDA loan, you should not be doing a closing date in less than 45 days because you got to build in that 10-day turn time for USDA. And then remember, USDA's upfront guarantee fee increasing October 1st from 2% to 2.75%. In the local news, next first-time homebuyer seminar is Saturday, um, August 29th in Newark, Delaware from 10 a.m. to noon at the Christiana Hilton Hotel. You can register for that event by giving us a call in the office at 302-703-0727. Look forward to seeing you, or you can write your online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. Look forward to seeing you next week.